When I was an assistant prosecutor, I was pretty tough when it came to going after criminals. But I also believed it was my duty to make sure the person charged was truly guilty. Take Clarence Elkins. In 1998, he was falsely convicted and sentenced to life in prison for raping and killing a 58-year-old woman. After serving seven and a half years, he was finally freed because he picked up a cigarette butt from another prisoner he suspected of being the real killer. The saliva from the cigarette matched DNA from the crime scene. But not everyone is as lucky as Clarence Elkins. Right now, Ohio doesn't require authorities to keep DNA evidence. But a new bill before the Ohio legislature would require blood, semen, and other samples to be preserved. This law will help ensure that innocent until proven guilty really means something. I'm Phil Heimlich, and that's the hard truth.